There are many reasons why you would want to use a template. One of which being that templates enforce overall consistency by having a predetermined structure and layout. Good news, you can do that on your next campaign. First, you have to go onto your dashboard and then click on templates. Here, just click on new template. This is where you're going to enter all the data that you need. So you can personalize every aspect of your email from the subject to the content. And to personalize an email, you're going to have to add some variables. So we're basing our template off our contact list, where we've got first name, surname, email, and company. We want to make sure that every time we send an email, the first name is going to be personalized, and so is the company. So going back to my template, to save us a bit of time, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Make sure you, um, you enter a subject line, so I'm going to enter this one and once you're happy with it just scroll down and save template. Maybe I went a little bit fast over this uh, last section but the brackets are going to represent the variables meaning that every time I sent an email the first name is going to adjust to the recipient and so is the company. When you're happy with your template just go ahead and click on campaigns and then click new campaign and here is where we want to insert our new template. So you click on the three arrows here, insert a template, and then click on the one we've just created. So you see that you've got your double brackets, everything looks speck and span. We now want to select our recipients. So to do that, just select recipients here. Now you've got different options. You can either copy and paste your emails, um, making sure that you put one per row. You can import a CSV, a contact list, or Google Sheet. So we've got a Google Sheet um, tab open, so we're just going to use this one. Here you'll need your spreadsheet URL. So going back onto my spreadsheet, I'll just go ahead and copy paste and then enter it here and then it's loading. You wait for it to do its magic. And here you go, select the sheet in question, and you should be all set. Now that you're all set, you just click on next. And so you'll see that you've got four contacts that you want to send this email to, and then click save. Here, um, to make sure that you've got everything um, under control, you can just click on show preview. And this is going to show you how it looks like for each recipient. So for Sally, for Dave, for Elliot, and you'll see that the, the variables change accordingly. Now, if you are happy with the result, you can just hide the preview or just go ahead and send the emails.